Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are at Point Pleasant, New Jersey, and we are on Jenkinson's Boardwalk here. Been trying to check out some more of the boardwalks here along the eastern seaboard. I came out here to Jenkinson's, uh, Jenkinson's Boardwalk because I heard that they have a fun house, so I definitely wanted to check that out. So we're gonna walk along the boardwalk and see if we can find this fun house. So please, follow me. Why are, the, why are they just sitting up there at the top? Is, uh, is the ride broken or something? Oh, there it goes. They're not stuck. They were just, they were just giving them a second to chill at the top. See the Easter Bunny right here on Jenkinson's uh, boardwalk. It's a save the date. They're having an Easter sale. Wonder what they sell out here on the boardwalk on Easter. See this ride with a lot of different names, different locations. I don't know if there's a consensus on what this ride is called. Here at Jenkinson's they call it Pendolo. I ass I'm assuming it has something to do with the pen pendulum-like motion in which it swings. Pendolo. See the beach bus there with the surfboards on the top. And uh, it's being driven by a penguin. And it's, it's a good thing that he's, that he's driving a bus and not trying to, to fly an airplane because, because penguins, penguins can't fly. Looks like we got some sort of surf themed roller coaster here, twirling cars. So surfer dude, how tall do I need to be to ride this ride? Let's see. Oh my, that's a pretty, it's a pretty, pretty tall height requirement. But uh, you know, the, the height requirements are put in for safety reasons. So I'm sorry. I guess, I guess you'll just have to wait for Wadlow to come along to ride this ride. The super fun, happy slide there. There we can see the churning of their gravitron known as Starship 3000. If you look, look closely, you can see there's an alien peeking out as it spins by. It's a much gentler version of the Tilt-A-Whirl here, the Dizzy Dragons. So you can see, they just kind of give you a nice little slow rotation. Actually, it looks like you're in control of your own rotations there. You turn the wheel, determine how you rotate as the dragons spin in a circle. So see the rotating pirate ride there with that scurvy pirate there in the center. Oh, it looks. Looks like these ships do get a little bit of, a little bit of lift to them. When Anna was little, she made me get on this ride. She actually loves this ride. You sit in like a Superman position, laying on your belly, and for some reason, I don't know if it's just my anatomy, but it was like the most uncomfortable ride possible. Now this ride here is known as either the Himalaya or the Music Express. I noticed this one is actually known as both. It's called the Super Himalaya up there on the sign, and then in the ride on the mural, it's called the Music Express. Interesting. I also love the old uh, carnival mural there 
can see the frozen wasteland. There's a, uh, a cave lady there in a bikini as these people twirl violently in circles. Oh wow, there's a Halloween archway here. I guess they're celebrating Halloween already here on Jenkinson's Boardwalk. Hot Halloween. Oh, apparently they celebrate Halloween on August 30th and uh, 31st. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's interesting. Usually you would celebrate it in October. But oh, look at this. It's some interesting things, underwater carvings. So they carve pumpkins underwater at the aquarium. Okay, I take it back. That's amazing. Now, here's something that uh, just strikes me as very strange. I've never seen this before. To go out on to the beach, you have to pay admission. It's uh, $12 for an adult, looks like $4 for children. You have to buy a wristband and then they'll allow you to go out on the beach. I've just, I've always seen beaches as being free at boardwalks. Um, so wow, I don't know. If anyone knows the reason, there might be a good reason. Who knows? Uh, they have be an explanation, but uh, if you know the reason for this, leave a comment in uh, the comment section. And it looks like the admission fee isn't uh, slowing down anything. The beach is absolutely crowded today. Yeah, from what I'm gathering, it looks like they're just trying to maybe run a tight ship. They're checking people's bags, checking people's coolers. Uh, they have a bunch of rules here on the beach. They don't allow large coolers. They don't allow uh, loud and unnecessary noise. They don't allow misbehaving. Well, you should never allow misbehaving. And uh, no urinating in public. And I don't think I've ever seen that uh, no urinating in public sign before. I guess that sign there may explain it. It says the cleanest beaches on the shore. So yeah, I guess, you know, I guess what they're doing here, trying to maintain a very, very clean and orderly beach that is attractive to people to come visit. Um, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just, uh, just struck me as very interesting. Just had never seen a beach with a security checkpoint and admission before. Oh, and there's our old friend, Frozetti, the Dippin' Dots Yeti. And this is the whole reason we came out here to Jenkinson's Boardwalk to have a fun house, a walkthrough fun house attraction. I guess known simply as Fun House. So there's no refunds here at the ticket booth. This guy here looks like the brother of Blindshot Barnaby from the uh, Gatlinburg uh, Circus Golf. All right, and we head into the Fun House. Looks like we're starting out with a mirror maze. It's kind of the old school, oh, it's bumped in. It's kind of an old school mirror maze. The smaller, claustrophobic mirror mazes. We just kind of have to mill about to get your way through. Okay, it's really easy to run into mirrors because when you look forward, everything, everything just looks, yeah, see? Everything looks, looks clear, but uh, really you're surrounded by mirrors. And I am just in like a, in a box here, I need to, work my way out. Okay. 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 okay, I worked my way back in to the box there. Now I'm back at the beginning. I am not good at this. Okay. I think I think I'm just walking back out the entrance. Okay. How does this even work? I'm I'm baffled. Oh, here we go, here we go. I found the secret. Sometimes you just have to rely on looking for smudges. See if you can see smudges 
that would allow you to uh, find your way. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. All right. It's hard to tell if you're making progress or just going backward. Okay. 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 You don't, you don't touch, you don't stick your arm out and touch everything. That's against Mirror Maze etiquette. This is a dead end right here. I'm gonna slide around through here. This takes a lot of skill. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Oh, okay. Again, another dead end. Maybe the same dead end. It's hard to, hard to tell. Okay, this is another dead end. Will we ever actually make it into the fun house? It's completely unknown at this point. Okay. I think this is new. Oh. No, this is just a box. But I can go this way. Oh my gosh. I can see, I can see the entrance back there, but I don't know how to proceed to it. This is troublesome. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, this is another box here. This is difficult. This is uh, just starting to become stressing. Uh oh. Does it not go through? Uh, I don't know where to go through. Let's see, okay. In here, but then I'm in a box. Okay, panic starting to set in, okay. Looks like these people, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow these people. They seem to have found a pathway. And oh, here we are, here we are. You see the finger pointing to the entrance. We finally get to go inside the fun house. Can you hear that laughter? Can you hear the laughing? I don't know, Chuck. I just don't get your oh, sense no. of humor. I don't know. All my jokes quack me up. <laughs> Who is that? All right. Well, I got a joke for you. Knock, oh. knock. Who's there? This is some sort of Abby. nightmare version Abby of who? Laughing Sal. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey. Oh, gosh. And you smell like one, too. Probably notice there's a man in a bathtub with a duck. Oh, it just went dark. You can see. I guess this is, yeah, it's almost like a, a Laughing Sal. She has no hair. She has a, a ski cap on. This is... This is all very, very interesting. <laughs> Whoa, bubbles, bubbles. I heard that. Oh, oh, wasn't me, wasn't me. Oh, sure, blame it on the duck. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> oh, there. She thought that joke was hilarious. You see, almost like a optical illusion hallway here. And that leads us into, oh my gosh, a clown tunnel so we walk through the vortex tunnel into the face of the rotating cloud oh my god utter and complete madness in here all right into a room of mirrors here this is bad hair day bad hair life is more like it let's be honest dude what's up what's up dudes some sort of lion shaped mirror here. I guess you can look like you're being consumed by a lion. Ah! You look awesome. Not. Well, that was, uh, that was certainly very rude. All right, headed upstairs here. This giant elephant. From this angle, if you look, you can see the elephant is actually murdering someone. Interesting. There is the uh, the elephant murder victim. And then looming above us while we were on the stairs is this giant clown. Oh my gosh. This, I like this place. This is unique. All right, here's another lion's mouth that we enter into. And it looks like we got some crazy floor. Oh yeah, you can see that's, that floor is shifting. 
Had a bad case of the crazy floor. Sometimes you gotta call a carpenter to fix the crazy floor in your house. Where's this? Take us here. We got, oh, another mirror maze? Another mirror maze within the same fun house. We had the old school mirror maze when we entered. Now we are headed into a more modern style mirror maze. Oh my gosh. I didn't necessarily want to be stuck in two different mirror mazes in the same day. Although I do, I do think this might be the easier variety of mirror maze to get through. So yes, one, one fun house, two mazes as so we move our way. Yeah, the other one's more claustrophobic, closed in. Yeah, and look at that, so we already found we already found the exit, so that was that one was a lot easier. What's this say? Hey, hey, pull my finger? Pull his finger? Oh no. Oh no. What are these on the floor? Are these are these butts? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. This is this is just, this is not funny. This is uh, very, very crass humor here. As we literally walking on a pathway of butts. And yes, they're, they're making, making farts, making fart noises. Hall of farts, the hall of farts. I'm glad that you watched this video in case of emergency here in the fart hallway I have a gas mask or for smaller emergencies they have some uh, clothes pins all right guys let's you know we all had fun here but let's uh let's never speak of the hallway of farts ever ever again and is this the is this the exit here are we going out okay now we are up here on the balcony of the fun house oh and actually Quite a view there of the boardwalk. You can just see all the people out there enjoying the boardwalk today. Okay, we got some lore to read here. Professor I. Shrinkensem, on October 31st, 1998, at last after years of experiments and self-denial in my laboratory on the boardwalk at Point Pleasant, New Jersey, I have succeeded. I have discovered how to transform adults in to kids again. So that is Professor I Shrink them. I Shrink them. And uh, we learned how to turn kids or adults into kids. I guess we'll find out through here as we enter. Okay, this is Dr. Shrinksome's laboratory here. Danger, plasma flow. Oh, a shoot, a shooting gallery. It's pretty fun. You see the skeletons there. And uh, this actually is this free? Is this a free shooting gallery? That's that's unique. Oh, I can shoot better than you, and I don't even have eyeballs. He said he could shoot better than me, and he doesn't even have eyeballs. Let's see. So let's see. This guns don't make noise. Apparently, I was able to shoot the skeleton there. Okay, got him. Shoot that. Oh, there we go. Another skull. The pan there. Let's see. Okay, that just doesn't work right there. There's a rattlesnake. So yeah, pretty fun. A mid, a mid, um, mid funhouse shooting gallery. Okay, so I guess this is the laboratory in here. And what is that? Some sort of animal skeleton right there? Hysteria, it says hysteria. When you push it, it shoots a little bit of compressed air at you. What does cata cataclysm do? Okay, so this makes a, a hiss, and this makes a loud obnoxious noise. All right, and that must be the, the cat in there. What's, what's on this side? I'm uh, unclear exactly what's happening here. I wonder if this is some sort of uh, 
Jeff Goldblum Brundlefly teleportion device here. Heading back through this mine here. Oh, it says look up. What are we looking up to? I guess this is, this is we're looking up from underground. We are apparently now buried underground, despite the fact that moments ago we were on the second floor. Uh oh, the blasting zone, and there is a bundle of dynamite there in the wall. The shaft closed, no admittance. Oh, wait a minute. I hear the seven dwarves? What's back in here? What is even happening? There's a, a, a minecart full of jewels. Now walk through this dark jungle scene here. Very dark. It says danger. Live gorilla. Oh. Oh, there's a gorilla down there, hiding down in the cage. All right. Endless tunnel there. And then this pirate lady here. What's that in the cannon? Some, some little creature in there. Where are we? Some sort of piratey zone. A giant tentacle up there battling the pirate. Oh yeah, the tentacle itself has a sword and it's fighting the pirate. We wind our way down the staircase here. There's a treasure chest there. Oh, there's a skull amongst the treasure. Oh, look at that. Another another funny mirror. You gotta have lots of funny mirrors inside of funny. Oh, there's just compressed air going off everywhere. Blasting in every direction. Got the root beer, the cannonballs. The giant clam shell there. Oh, there's penguins having a birthday party. So literally, there's just compressed air cannons going off everywhere. What, what's going on? Oh, look at this treasure here. It's got root beer floats inside of it. This tentacle here is stealing the rum. The pirate's trying to get it back. Pelican here has filled its pouch completely with treasure that he's apparently going to steal. And look at this. I don't know, it's some sort of dollar sign bird on his pirate hat. And it looks like we exit past the garbage can clown into a pirate's life. It's a pirate's life for me. So yeah, that fun house, that was, that was super weird. I loved it. So this is the part where I enter the arcade to continue my losing streak when it comes to claw machines. Or is it? Because look here at the toy taxi, it's $5 to play and you play till you win. So $5 and you're guaranteed to win something. Uh, that's an interesting proposition. I don't think I've ever seen a guaranteed to win uh, claw machine that actually had plushies. So uh, yeah, got some really cute animals in here. Let's see if we can uh, win something for Jen. The $5 in. Oh, it's a little bendy there. Let's give it, give it another try. Here we go. Now if I lose at this, this is going to be really embarrassing. So. Let's see, move the claw there. Let's see if we can, what can we win? Uh, I like, oh, there we go. We got something? No, we didn't. So do we get to play some more? I think I want these giraffe, one of these giraffes. So let's see if we can grab the giraffe. Grab that giraffe. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter because I'm playing, you play till you win. You play until you win something. So I can just sit here all day grabbing at this giraffe. So let's drop it there. And still no win. We'll see how long it takes. Given the unlimited nature of this, 
how long it takes to me to actually win something. All right, let's see. Okay, okay. Still no giraffe. Okay, we are literally hovering right above its head. Drop down. I won! I actually won! And it was totally... Oh, there we go! Oh, through my own skill and skill alone, I won this adorable little giraffe. And now I feel like we should check out the aquarium here at the end of the boardwalk. Interesting here in the lobby, have a wall of like aquatic plants. Very, very enticing. It makes me want to touch it. Apparently, the rules the rules are stated. No touching this beautiful, fluffy sea life. See the fish swimming there through the mangrove roots. You got a beautiful jellyfish tank there. All right, looks like we got some rays in here. It says we are allowed to pet them. Oh, look at this guy here. I'd really like to pet him. I don't know if he, do you want to be petted there, buddy? Hey, little guy. I wish I could pet you through the glass. I gotta come up here to the top so I can pet you. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. Come here. That's Nathan screwed up on my head. They kind of look like half short and half right. Yeah. Hey buddy, come here. Come here, buddy. Let me pet you. Let me pet you. Uh, it looks like they're not feeling like being petted today. It says become an undersea explorer. All you gotta do is climb in this old-timey scuba suit. Unfortunately, it looks like the stick your head in the scuba suit photo op has been closed. They've wrapped this canvas around it. I don't know, maybe too many kids were getting their head stuck in the scuba suit. According to this sign, it says alligators do not make good pets. In fact, in New Jersey, it is illegal to have an alligator as a pet. And that's why so many people from New Jersey move down to Florida, so they can keep alligators as pets. Oh, look at that beautiful alligator right there. So just a little guy. See, there's a sea turtle napping over there. Oh, look at the shark. Oh, there's another shark. Okay, I guess they replaced the old scuba diving photo op with this one here, where you can uh, get in a scuba suit and just kind of hang out with uh, this friendly shark. Hey there, Mr. Fish. Big old fish there. Oh, I know something I like about these guys. You see, there's a group of big old sharks just chilling out here on the bottom of the aquarium. Oh, look at that. The shark came right up to the glass there. Wanted a kiss. <laughs> Look at that guy's smile. Oh, I love this. The rays, how they fly through the water. This big ship here in the middle of the aquarium. And it's surrounded by a moat filled with turtles. There's the pancake tortoise. I guess they're shaped like a pancake. You just, you don't want to, you don't want to pour syrup on this little guy though. There's some penguins over here. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, look at the nice little penguins helping, helping groom each other. Penguins are always such, uh, such friendly little guys. Well, this guy's going for a swim here. Hey, buddy. You like swimming? Oh, hey there. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. It's actually 
seals. Seals in here. It says there is more to C S E A instead of S E E. It says there's more to C upstairs. Here we have the uh, seals upstairs area. And you see one of the seals has shoved their head inside of a traffic cone. I guess that's what, uh, that's what seals do for fun. They put, they put a traffic cone on their head and they swim around. It's a, it's a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. I may try that sometime. Oh, look at that. What a cute little seal. Seals are among the uh, long list of animals that I'm not allowed to have as a pet, but, but I would like to. Oh, look at them bobbing up and down there. It says this box of garbage was all retrieved from the nests of ospreys. Unfortunately, there's so much garbage here that the ospreys will pick it up and use it to build their nests. So apparently, they actually had a full flip-flop in their nest. Oh, look in there. It's a tiny little monkey oh, here at the aquarium. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cute little, little guy. Little spider monkey, that's cool. So you put your face here, and that's the seal's face. Then you put your fingers, your fingers through here. Okay, your fingers through here, and that's the octopus's feet. Hey, little octopus, what are we gonna do today? Seal and octopus, best friends forever. I was like, play that song, he's like, oh. So thank you for joining me here today on Jenkinson's Boardwalk here in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Been trying to check out more of the boardwalks. If there's other boardwalks out there that uh, you would like to see me document, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know uh, what you'd like to see me visit. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it'll let you know when new videos arise. And I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, museums, amusement parks, haunted houses, boardwalks, other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, right now, in the Etsy shop, we have the brand new No Scares on Stairs pin, just in time for the Halloween season. So all that just helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.